Well, actually, not this morning, but I've been asked at times, what do you do for fun? So I stopped for a moment. I said, really? You're supposed to not watch my videos. You see, I'm doing what I like to do. I'm enjoying my life. I have felt as though I was born for such a time as this, that the sum total of my experiences in life have brought me to a time and a place where I can share my life with God to others. That I can relate information that I've learned along the way in this journey that we call living that might help someone along their way so that they could experience God in a personal, intimate way that they've never known Him before. Me personally, <laughs> I, I like that. I kind of think that this is fun, but you know, some people want to know, well, what else do you do? I say, well, you know, I, I do go to a water park. You know, I, I, my wife and I plan out our finances so that once a year, you know, we can buy this, you know, kind of like season ticket so that we get to go to the state fair, you know, and kind of enjoy it there, you know, and, and go, you know, it's a week long, it's California kind of state fair, so it's kind of big. And, you know, we don't really go walking around the shops because we don't really have the money to buy things, you know. We don't really do any window shopping there because we'd rather go to a used store than go window shopping. But, you know, we go and see some of the concerts sometimes, you know, mostly not. <laughs> but, you know, we go to the water park and then we go to the fair. But when we go to the fair, we go to the bands, you know, and we go dancing. So, I like to dance, you know, I, I enjoy myself and I have fun. It's just kind of like a complete, thoughtless, mindless activity I enjoy. And I have a blast doing it. But you know, really, when you ask me what I do daily that I enjoy so much, it really is talking to, talking with, and relating about Jesus. Because I don't know what your religious experience is like, or I don't know what your personal relationship is like, but me personally, being with Jesus is kind of fun. I get a trip out of seeing how people react and act according to his word and according to the wisdom that he's given me along the way. It's kind of like, wow, God, I get to sit in your lap and see what you're doing today. And that's kind of the way I look at life, you know. It's, I don't look at it as being like, oh, no, the world's coming to an end. But, oh, boy, watch and see what God's going to do. I don't look at it as kind of like, you know, a downer. And I don't look like it as an upper. I just look at it as like, wow, man, look at what my father has done. And <coughs> I think if you kind of reevaluate what you call fun, I enjoy dancing, but sometimes it wears me out so much that I do it too much. So I have to be careful about how much dancing I do because the next day it takes me a day or two to recover. <laughs> Maybe your kind of fun isn't exactly the way I have fun. But you know, Christians have great freedom in Jesus to do and to enjoy the goodness of God. The fellowship of watching people grow is kind of how I feel is as I watch my garden change now from its springtime bursting growth to now kind of developing into what's going to remain and bear fruit and what's going to pass away as I've had to get rid of a lot of new growth that just flat out couldn't handle the heat. Well, I lost a lot of dif different vegetables because they weren't in the right container and they didn't have the right dirt and they didn't have the right soil and didn't have the right water. And that was kind of, oh well. But that's what I have fun in, really, is gardening, you know. Gardening the soul, so to speak. Sharing Jesus in a way to watch the lives of people change, even as I'm being changed. As God has taken me from glory to glory into the image of His incorruptible Son. I kind of look forward to having fun in the universe, as opposed to just having some temporary fun, you know, 
taking a bike ride or jogging or you know having a oh I don't know an A and W root beer float. Sometimes the simple things for me are more enjoyable than the greater things that some people do that they think they have fun in. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Because anyone who serves Christ in this way is pleasing to God and approved by man. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. Romans 14, 13 through 19. Everything in your life doesn't have to be serious in order to be spiritual. If you are filled with God's Spirit, whatever you do has a spiritual connotation to it. As you walk in the Spirit, as you share the things of the Spirit, the Spirit makes alive those things around you and you see them in a different light. You can live a holy life and still enjoy your day. Holiness is not denial. Holiness is completeness. God measures holiness by how quick we are to obey his voice. Do we heed the call? Do we listen to what he has to say? Or do we ignore his will for our will to be done? He promises that goodness and mercy shall follow us if we seek his presence. See Psalm 26, 23.6 Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He may even encourage you just to have fun today. Sometimes, I know, many Christians get carried away in what they're doing because they feel like they have to do something religious every day. And if it's only religious and it's not fun for you, then don't do it. Try and see what you can bring God into the picture with and enjoy whatever it is you're doing because whether you know it or not, everything that you're doing, if God is in you, then God is with you. And if God is with you, then wherever you are today, whatever you're doing today, however you're living your life today, God is with you. Remember, Jesus laughed. Jesus cried. Jesus was a human being while here on earth. And he understands as the Son of Man exactly where you're coming from. But we have the Holy Spirit today. Let God lead you in a way that maybe you hadn't thought of, that maybe you've been denying the childlike innocence of having simple joys and pleasures in the Lord. For surely as you walk with God and talk with Him today, He will lead you in a way you've never thought of before. And who knows? Maybe before the day is out. <laughs> you might learn how to laugh. Because <laughs> I know most of you, you haven't a clue how to laugh. <laughs>